time to get a look at some of this uh, unfinished stuff. What you what you want? What you what you want? All right, so all of this stuff right here, all little bits of unfinished projects. Um, I got some ideas for these. These are some things my wife picked up. We're going to turn those into something cool uh, a little later on. But today, uh, we're going to do something with this guy right here. He needs to be cleaned up in the mouth, uh, and he needs some paint. He needs sealed up. And I think we just may give this guy away. With the amount of plaque build up on this guy, we're going to have to bring out the power tools and perform a little oral surgery. There we go. Uh, the old teefers are a little bit cleaner there and the uh, eyeballs. Well, they don't look too bad, so uh, yeah, you're in good shape. Just to give you guys a little history, you know, Hell no, you might not even care, but um, I'm gonna tell you anyway. Uh, he's not exactly the prettiest pumpkin and uh, the coolest to look at or whatever. I was just, I was just playing around and testing stuff. I wanted to see how fast I could turn out a little pumpkin. Um, there's no strip mache base to this. This is just solid uh, paper mache clay. I think I put a little balloon in here. I think it blew up a small balloon. I think that's what it did, or maybe a small little beach ball, something small and round anyway. And then just slapped uh, the clay right over the top of it. Just kind of went to town, just quick, dirty, um, you know, just to see how fast I could really push one out if I wanted to make a whole bunch back to back. Um, it hasn't turned out too bad. He's, still, he's pretty stout uh, for not having any kind of a base to him. But I did this like three, four years ago, something like that, and I never got around to finishing him out or painting him. I'm going to do a giveaway to my Patreons, and I'll tell you guys a little more about that um, once we get this thing painted up. sealer. Now that this guy's all sealed up, you know, hopefully a little weather protection we got going on here. We'll start with the paint. Uh, the first thing, the very first thing that I'm going to do is paint the inside here uh, white. start this thing off, we want to base the whole thing in a darker orange color. So we're going to use some orange. I'm going to mix in a little brown and we're going to create this kind of dark orange base. And we're going to go basically darker to lighter through the entire paint scheme and just keep building up layers until um, we get this cool look in. It looks like a pumpkin and highlights and yeah, all that good stuff you know I mean here's the thing I'm not a um, <laughs> I'm not a professional in any way I didn't go to art schools or anything like that I didn't even take I took one art class when I was in the sixth grade and yeah you know what so a lot of my color theory or whatever it's uh, called probably isn't um, correct but it seems to work for me darker you make this first layer of orange, the more pronounced your ridges are going to be as you brighten this whole thing up. Um, so anyway, I could have gone a little bit darker, but yeah, this is going to work anyway. 
Uh, so from this point, I'm just gonna add uh, some orange into this mix, lighten it up a little bit, and do another layer all the way across. Um, except this time, I'm not gonna do 100% coverage. I'm gonna do more like 95% coverage. I'm gonna start leaving uh, some of these grooves right here darker like this and have the lighter away from that. That's how we're gonna create that gradient from light to dark. We're just going from a dirtier orange to a more orangey orange to orange to orangey orange lighter orange orange and the pumpkin will look orange and yeah and you'll see some different oranges. So now we add the uh, more orange to the orange. That way the pumpkin can be more orange. It's hard to tell on the video, but we're getting a little bit of gradient between this orange. It is kind of brightened up and staying a little bit darker uh, in the centers here. So now, now some things get super, super interesting because we're going to add yellow to the mix. Hold on. We're going to get crazy with this paint job. There we go. We got uh, those oranges layered on. You can see the dark and the work. How the gradient goes from this darker in here up to a little bit lighter shade here. We're going to stop right there with the orange and now I'm just going to hit it with some straight yellow. When I do the yellow we're just going to hit some highlights. I'm going to kind of highlight the tops here, around the eyes, a few things in here at the bases and stuff. Just kind of put a little more pop to the whole thing. <laughs> should have gone darker to begin with on this guy um, he's a little too light but now we're <clears throat> gonna take a little black and come inside the mouth here and the eyes that'll make it a little spooky pretty much by taking the black and going around the eyes and the mouth it kind of gives it a little bit of a kind of a creepy factor since we've got the white on the inside gives a little more punch adds a little bit more to it I guess whatever I don't know it works i like it so um that's what we're gonna do now we're gonna do a couple different browns on the old stem here and make it pop a little darker brown a little light brown a little light brown again light brown again brown and brown and brown and brown and brown you know kind of like um uh, the orange so here we go before we go to the big reveal on this thing uh stay tuned afterwards because we're going to talk about giving this thing away As a way to say thank you to all those over there on Patreon that are supporting the channel. It's not, this isn't a real big thing, but I'm going to give this away to one lucky patron um, over there. So basically what I'm going to do is by April 16th, uh, 2022, everybody that is an active patron by that date, I'm going to take all their names and I'll put um, put all their names in a jar hat, mix it up, whatever, pull the name out, and that person is going to be the winner of this. And it'll be rehomed to whoever that patron is. Once again, I appreciate all you guys, every all of you that even are just here to watch. Uh, every view, it amazes me that people spend their time 
uh, just listening to me be an idiot half the time. Until the next time I see you guys. Keep making something from nothing.